This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome to Kumar Consulting. So guys, here in this session, I will uh, just explain how to install SAP in your laptop or desktop. Guys, the procedure is very, very, very easy. You have to spend few minutes. So just stay with me. See uh, the process. I'll explain one by one. So now guys, whatever this installation is going to happen, this is going to support all windows, whether you are having window 10, 8, 7, Vista XP, whatever it is, need not to worry, it is going to work out for every windows. And what is happening guys, what we have to install, so first of all, let's suppose if you have to log in, if you have to log in, then you must be having this login pad on your desktop, okay? You must be having login pad on this, on your desktop and then only you will be able to log in so this login pad we are going to install how to install so you have to see further processes so i'll explain one by one how to install this one now so guys if you are my student in the sense if you are the student of kumar consulting then you'll be having you'll be receiving this kind of mail okay this mail consists of this GUI download link. GUI means graphic user inter interface. It means like whatever this login pad I have set the second name and the name of this login pad is GUI. So how we are going to what is it? First of all, you have to install you have to download this uh, there is a file that needs to be downloaded. So how you are going to get so look at here in the mail itself I have given this link. Okay, if you are not the student of Kumar Consulting, it means if you are not my student and if you are watching this video directly on YouTube then this link already I have given in this video like uh, look at this at the downside of this video uh, in description box this link will be given so you have to click on uh, that link the same link I have given in the description box so you have to click on that link so first of all you need to click on this link and then whatever these details I have uh, given that is uh, that I'll explain later first of all you just need to click on this link so once you click guys, uh, let's have a look here. So a new, what to say, window is, uh, tab is going to open here. Your screen has opened here. So just wait for a second. Now look at here. So you just need to click on download here. Again, another screen is open. So do not read out the all uh, virus scan or something. Nothing is there, guys. Don't worry. You just need to click on download anyway. So once you click on download anyway, then what will happen, guys? A file is going to be a zip file. Look at here is going to be downloaded. So file size is look at here almost one plus GB. So it may take some time. It depends upon uh, it depends upon the speed of your internet, guys. Uh, for some people, it can be downloaded within uh, three minutes, four minutes, two minutes, or even sometimes half an hour also. And if you're going to use like mobile internet and that internet, internet speed is slow, uh, then it, even it may take 45 minutes also, 50 minutes also. So it depends upon the speed of your internet. So we'll have to wait some time. So meanwhile, what I do, it is still, it is 174 almost 200 MB itself, right? So I'll just pause the video. Once this uh, download is complete, then I, I'll simply, so, okay. This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, uh, so welcome back. Now look at here. So now, just now, the recording, uh, sorry, installation is completed. Look at here, at the left corner, bottom. So now uh, this is like, uh, okay, so download is completed. You need to open it. Just open it once. Taking some time. Just wait, guys. Okay. Now. I just need to do one thing, guys. Double click on this folder. 
and then double click on press one okay and first of all you need to know the file location also where it is uh, what to say downloaded and all now uh, then you double click on ui then double click on windows and then double click on win 32 win 32 right now you just look at here guys first of all it is there where in it's there in downloads here and in that i have opened this one then this one then press one then gui then windows then win 32 so here you just need to click on setup all and right click here right click and then click on open so once you click on open guys look at your extract all you need to click on extract all now it is asking the now what is happening another folder is going to be downloaded so it is asking like uh, where it is going to be in the sense file locations simply you click on browse and keep desktop just keep your desktop okay and you can make it okay or else on desktop if you want to keep it in a new folder then also you can you can create a new folder also and you can keep it here here you will be having uh, what to say options make a new folder i'll simply just keep it on desktop itself so click on extract look at here so the file is going to be extracted where on desktop so just wait for a moment Look at here the file size is like heavy so it's taking time so now we'll have to wait so once again i'll i'll because it's going to take might be two three minutes so i'll i'll pause this video so that the video will not be more in the longer i'll pause and once this extraction is completed then i'll again uh, resume the recording so let me pause the video this conference will now be recorded so now guys uh, it's done okay just now completed i'll just come on the desktop look at here this is what the folder is okay it got extracted now double click on this folder open this folder first and again the same process double click on press one then again double click on the ui again double click on window double click on win 32 and then here we are having set up all so now you double click on set up all second time i'm talking about extracted file okay now here you'll be getting uh i don't think it's visible in the video but once you double click a small what to say pop-up message will appear. do you want to follow you know do you want to allow this program to make changes you need to click on yes okay click on yes and then let's have a look okay so look at here guys the installation started So click on, click on next. Okay, here multiple selections, uh, what to say, things are there like uh, which one need to be selected and which one need to be deselected. Don't look at those things and also simply click on select all. Look at here, click on select all and then click on next. Again, click on next. Again, click on next. Okay, every time some changes are happening here, but we keep on clicking on next, again, next, again, next. Now just wait, look at here, the installation started. So it may take some time again. So we'll just wait, we'll see. So still 0%. So look at here guys uh bit slow 
uh, it depends upon your uh, you know pc or uh, laptop also uh, depends upon the uh, you know ram and everything but anyway here for installing this uh, what to say sap and all whatever you're on ram size or hard disk size is there so it doesn't matter even if you're having the minimum ram also it's going to support it's going to work out there won't be any issues and even less hard disk size is also there it is going to work out because this is online server guys so storage will not be there in your system it is going to be stored at a different location it means like whatever the data are going to be whatever configurations you are going to do with all storing whatever storage is there it's not there in your laptop okay so you are not to worry about this this is online server so now we get here 17 percent done still going on so just wait until it is for is like you can uh, forward this video and you can once it is like till 90 percent 99 percent or 100 percent once we done from there onwards you can watch the video so still 18 percent itself will have to wait So still 32 percent itself guys i'll just do one thing then i'll pause this video once again and once it is completed then average it. this conference will now be recorded so guys now uh this is completed look at here the installation of a series product completed successfully so you just need to click on close button so now what is happening guys installation is done what we have to do so now just come on the desktop okay so look at here now this is your login pad this is your login pad apart from this if you want to keep this folder uh, for future purpose you can keep it or else anyway this uh, uh, whatever this download link is there it's already there on my video and all so if you want to delete even you can delete also there is no use of this folder so you can delete it there is no issues or else you can create a separate folder guys and you can keep it over there okay you can create a separate folder you can keep it over there so now what we have to do here you need to double click on this folder okay double click so now this is going to open and then a further setting small setting we need to do and then you'll be able to log in so let it be open here now double click here so here what is happening guys now look at here this is how it's going to be so now what is happening guys when when you guys are going to do generally this is already i'll just do one thing guys so for you guys what is happening it will be like this let me delete all these things okay so anyway for you guys it will be like this okay it will be like this so now what you need to do you need to click on new here you need to click and which setting guys so here already you look at here so now the details already server details have given here descriptions and all everything you have to give so open here and click on new here you need to click and then you need to click on next button and then here descriptions you can give guys so any descriptions can be given here like let's suppose i'm going to give sap okay application server so what is the application server guys look at here application server i'm given so even you can copy or you can type manually so if you are going to copy guys here from mail then make sure that there should not be any space okay sometimes what happened people just double click on here and it's going to copy but one space extra has taken place then also system is going to throw error so just copy and here i paste it this is what the server application server number and 
then what next guys the next one is instance number then we are having system id so instance number is 39 and uh, system id eh7 so here you need to give 39 then here you need to give eh7 that's it this is what the server details okay this is what the server details guys this is my server details which which i have given here uh, it, it server details may vary depends upon people the people multiple what to say is uh, what to say uh, people are there in the market who is providing this server access and also everybody will have like different different this application server uh, details and all so don't worry now so these are the details you have to give and then you need to click on next and then again you need to click on next okay and then you need to click on finish two time next and then click on finish now look at here guys this is appearing so what next guys simply double click once you double click on this one then what is happening the next window is going to open and here you need to give your login id and password where is the login id guys so look at here login id in your mail already i have sent here right so you need to use this login id your test user let's suppose this is a temporary user id i have, I have created guys when uh, whoever my students are there so for you people like you can check your mail and in that different login id will be there so you can use your login id and password this is the test user uh, i have created a temporary login id so after this it is going to be deleted okay so use this user id and then the password one two three four five six i have given over there in the mail press enter so now look at here now this is one time password whatever i have given so now you need to change your password whatever password you want to keep you can keep your desired desired password so that password only you know no one knows apart from you only you know this password so i'm going to change the password okay. i'll change the password here and press enter now press enter that's it so now you get here now i'm able to log in now i'm able to log in so whenever you have to log in, I'll log out once again. Now, whenever you have to log in, you need to double click on login pad. Here you need to click on your login ID, sorry, SAP. And then you can give your user ID here and then give your password, whatever password you have changed just now. So you'll be able to log in. So guys, whatever user ID I have given, uh, don't try with this user ID. As I told you that in your mailbox, you'll be having the way I have given here. This is a test user in your mailbox different user id will be there so server details will be as it is now the user id will be different okay so you have to use that user id and whatever password i have specified over there you have to use that user id and that password okay this user id is not going to work out on by this user id and if you are not the student of kumar consulting if you're not my student here watching this video so here with this what is happening you'll be able to install the login pad and on and user id guys you need to procure you need to purchase it from somewhere it's not only like multiple people are there in the market you can buy it from anywhere even you can buy it from me also so for that okay so look at here uh, my whatsapp number is there my contact number is there this is my contact number so in case if you have to purchase this user id you can contact me or else multiple other people are also there guys because i'm not like a, a seller of this user id and all since I have taken server access for my students since I'm a trainer. I provide training for FICO module. So that's what. So like if you need uh, the access from me or even other people are also there in the market, you can contact anybody and you can buy this user ID guide. Once you have the user ID, you can be able to log in into SAP. So that's all guys. That's all in this video. Thanks for watching.